how's everybody going? How's everybody going? Hey, how's everybody doing today? Hopefully great. Welcome to Uzulu Garage Channel today. Today's video is going to be on the bead maker paint protectant on the Jeep. First, we got to wash it. I'm going to give it a nice wash today. It's, today it's 34 degrees out. So let's try this in, in cooler weather and see how it works. Um, basically, the directions, you can use this on dry or wet, but the but, uh, preferred method will be dry. And that's what we're going to do. And then after you basically spray it, spray it like a detailing spray, wipe it off with your premium Microsoft towel. And then, so we're going to do the dry and then wipe it off. Uh oh, and then it says too, to let the, the product cure for eight hours after you're doing that. So that means you don't want to wash it again. You don't want it to get rained on again. It's not supposed to rain here. Just be a little chilly. So I'm going to wash it up. I'm not going to do a video on washing it. And then we'll be applying the bead maker right here. Boom. So let's let's try it out. We're going to give the Jeep a nice washing. Come on now. Is this... Is it crazy washing the vehicle when it's 34 out? I mean, we've been minus 11 degrees a lot. So 10, zero below. So it's, it's a little chilly, but to us, it's kind of like, kind of feels warm. I'm gonna use hot water in my bucket. I'm gonna be washing it with Temple Guys snowy foam, snow foam wash. I'm not gonna use no foam can, not like that, it's still, um, phone cam is still winter rise for the winter we gotta get our gas one we're gonna wash it up clean the wheels and then we're gonna try out the bead maker it's supposed to be pretty good i'm not really sure how long it's supposed to last maybe a month supposed to you know give your uh, paint a nice pop nice shine after it cures i guess if you get a better shine after it cures and then um gives it a little protection this basically a product you can use each time you wash it or maybe just once a month you know like a detailing spray so right now this bee maker is pretty popular all right i'll get to washing and then we'll apply the product got some dog hair on it from the dogs um you can see how clean the jeep is i used that uh come on guys Snow foam looks pretty good. I did notice on the snow foam, it doesn't give you much work in time. You gotta you gotta move pretty good. Um, it kind of loses its, its uh, I say the foam, whatever. I like I like the soap to have foam in it. You know, it'll be foamy anyway. Um, so if you're using a foam cannon with that, I would do uh, a section at a time. You can foam the whole vehicle down, but make sure if you're doing the hood, wash it. And then fold down your doors and stuff like that. Wash it, and you're gonna have to use the foam cannon a few times because you doesn't have it doesn't give you much time to work with. That's my opinion. So let's go. Well, let's not here for uh, talking about car soap. Here for the bead maker. So we're gonna spray it on and wipe it in just like a detailing spray. You can use this as a dry aid as a vehicle's wet for the first time. I'm gonna use it um, with it dry. So I think on the first time you ever use it, I would go. You know with your vehicle dry and then next time you use it go ahead and you can use it as a drying aid so let's try it out first time using it shake it up really good i bought this months ago it's just the weather just kind of took a dump on me quick it says the spray you know it says you really don't have to use a lot you know just spray a little bit on there and then spray some on your microsoft towel you know i read on looked on some videos guys were saying that you know using that you know a bunch of it on the first application in which you, you might on the first application and then there are a few comments before we're saying to uh if you get it to order the gallon of it and which is stuff it's not that overly priced which is nice i'll have the link below for the amazon link for this product be maker if you like to uh click on a link or if you purchase it it might help the channel out so it's kind of cool out so i'm gonna spray do the whole hood and i'm going to go over it with another with a dry towel a different microsoft towel because it's a little like i said it's 34 degrees out so i'm not sure how well this stuff's going to work in cooler weather it might take longer to cure but it's it's going in pretty nice you know with the weather being cool out be able to work it in so let's 
drying off another tunnel. Yeah, it works in good. Still got to do there. Oh, yeah. Looks like it works in pretty good. Try to go back and forth. As you guys can see. Alright. Look at that. Do you guys see any difference? It's hard to see. Tell. It shines it up pretty good if you look at the reflection from part of the sun that's out. <laughs> Alright. We'll continue to go. I gotta do I still gotta do in here and in here. It's hard to haul the camera and do that at the same time. So I'll have to put the camera down for that. I'm not trying not to use tons of product. But it's wiping in pretty good. Plus this Jeep's not that big, so Yeah, just like a detailing spray. Wipe it in and wipe it off. Alright. I don't think you guys want to see me do the whole vehicle. So, I'll uh, set this down. I got to do up here in the channel. And then uh, I'll show a little footage doing the door and stuff. And then we'll have a, a look at it when we're done. And then tomorrow, after I'll have that flash time more than eight hours. Tomorrow morning, before the wife goes to work. I'll come out here because I'm off tomorrow and we'll take a look at it. Hopefully we'll have some good daylight and we'll take a look at it and see if it's a little bit more shinier from from now. So it does shine it up. Easy to work with. That's what's nice. It doesn't streak at all. Even when it's chilly out, it doesn't streak. I use detail sprays and when it streaks a little bit when it's cool out, this isn't. Alright, let me continue to go. I'm going to put it on the windows. I don't know. Really never looked if you can, but I'm going to. Why not? You can put pink sealant on it. I don't see why we couldn't. Blend this in. Stuff's supposed to uh, bead water really well. And plus two, supposed to, it's gonna extend your wax or sealant on your vehicle. I think you can use it on uh, coatings, vehicles with coatings. That would help shine it up, extend the life of it. Got some tar. There, it came right off of my little nail. There you go. Pretty good. Right. Yeah, it's nice to work in. Just flip the towel over and work it in on a dry section. Looks good on the glass. I gotta clean inside the glass. Should use that, uh, that'd be a different video. Plus, I got a good wax on it, two sealing on there. All right, I'll continue. Says it's safe on all surfaces, so I did the the top right here, the black. Um, it looks pretty good. Um, I can't really see any difference. It's hard with that, but it, it looks like it cleaned it up pretty good. But because um, this has a lot of plastic on it, well, all vehicles you're gonna get it on there unless you tape everything off. So let's try the flare. See if it does anything to it. Too bad. May look clean. The flares. So yeah, I think you can use it on your plastic. I mean, it looks pretty clean to me. Just gonna have to go over it. You'll have to wipe it a couple times to get the excess off. I'll get another clean towel. Also, I got a bunch of them. So we'll try. Let's try some of it right here. We'll do a little bit and let's see what the results will be. Give some uh, protection to the plastic, which is a good thing. 
keep it from fading. You guys can see it. It streaks a little bit on the plastic, but you can blend it in, it looks like. And it comes right out. Let it flash. Oh, yeah. It cleans it up decent. So, yep. You can use it on your plastic. It cleans it up pretty decent. You just on the plastic, you're just going to have to buff it in. So you don't get that streaking. See, like that. And you really can't. You can see a little bit of a difference here to here. It's hard to see. Right there. So here I stop basically. And here's the left. And that's good. Yeah, it does. Look at the little shine right here. And then look where it's not treated. Oh, yeah. Look at that. It cleans that plastic up. I hope you guys can see that. It's hard to pick up with this GoPro. But yeah, here looks clean. Look how a little bit dull that looks there. Little, yeah. That's good to know. We can use the bee maker on a plastic. It cleans it up pretty good. <laughs> pretty cool. So if you guys got the Jeeps, a lot of plastic with, uh, plastic with the fender flares, this would be perfect to put on your uh, plastic and your Jeep. Especially if you go four by four and you're getting all the mud on it. This is going to help uh, protect it. Easier to clean when you wash your Jeep. This Jeep's a mod crawler. It's not getting filthy. All right. Let's continue to go. Look at this. I still got to do the front plastic. But, man, look at that. The sun, the sun came out. And, man, perfect timing for the sun to come out and shine on there. I mean, I didn't get in here real good to dirty the lip. I missed that spot. But I did the plastic. Look at that. It shines nice. That's crazy. And it said to let it cure for eight hours. It's supposed to be better the next day. Well, after eight hours, I suppose. But wow, it really did shine it up. I mean, Jeep looks cleaner. Look at that. If you got, hopefully you guys can see that. That breed maker is pretty good. Look at that. I don't know what he's doing. The dog rolling around in the dirt. Now he needs a bath. All right, I'm gonna finish this plastic in the front, and I'm gonna go over a couple of things that I, what I like about this. Especially for a Jeep too. Right now we didn't use that much product. Um, and I, I sprayed it pretty good too. And uh, sprayed some on the cloth. I think that helps keeping your cloth a little bit. Uh, spray down a little bit. That helps out a lot. And then you spray it just like a detailing spray. And you try to you know save as much as you can. But look at that. I didn't use that much. And I'm getting a nice shine. Look at that. No scratches. Nothing. Man, this would probably look good on the, the purple beast. All right, let's get this plastic done. I gotta do this front. Get the front plastic protected. That's what's nice. You can use it on the plastic. See how I'm just spraying it? I'm using it. And it's hard to give a full detail when it's kind of chilly out, but we're getting it. All right, let me get, get to wipe this off. And we'll go over the whole vehicle and uh, check it out. All right, let's take. Let's look. Uh, let's check it out with the bead maker. Let's walk around it. That stuff, man, it looks beautiful. Wow, that bead maker works. <laughs> wow. What do you guys think? I mean, just, wow. Now, I put it on everything, okay? The glass, the windows, the uh, plastic, the wheels, everything. Check that out. I got to do some tire dressing on, the, on it. Wow, that stuff's awesome. It just shines. Boom, bee maker. It works. We'll see what it looks like tomorrow. Now, I had, now, me using it today, first, now this is the first time using it. I watch videos on a product to see what, it's, you know, what it does and how to apply it. And um, so, first time using it, first time uh, trying it out. And figured why not try, to, try it on a plastic because it said it's safe for all exterior surfaces. So, one thing though on the plastic, especially the Jeep, on the front of flares, since it kind of shines it up a little bit as you guys can see. It does show the flaws. So if you ever have any scuff marks or anything like that on your fender flares, you can see here, you're not getting that out. 
it's just almost like you might as well say scratching the paint but you will it does you can see it more see you can really see it and that's from just everybody getting out of the jeep in and out from their shoes hitting it or whatever or if you know you get a rock hit in or if you're four by four and you get the trees uh scraping on it tree limbs and uh yeah you're gonna see that a little bit more that's the only that's the only downfall on it put it on your fender flares it's gonna bring out those scuffs but uh, but it cleans it up looks nice it's gonna protect it from the uh the uvs uvs and but it looks nice what do you guys think check it out shine it up and i think for the hard top on a jeep i think this product is great for it because i did the top and uh it does it it gives it a little bit of a shine not much because this has a rough texture to it and it, you know you're not going to get any wax on there so this product actually is great for the hard top for a jeep wrangler it really is or any vehicle that has a top like that b maker i think will work great on uh kind of just helping it protecting it and keeping it from fading because my old jeep i think the top faded after a few years but uh that's what i think on the b maker yeah and don't forget to continue watching because tomorrow i'm gonna go come back outside and we'll walk over it and see what it looks like so make sure you continue to watch it and uh yeah we'll check it out look at that they say it gets better after the eight hours we'll find out tomorrow wow that sun came out perfect timing holy cow this thing looks better than brand new the paint does Plus, I have that poly wax on there. That helps. Look at that. Dang. That stuff's awesome. Wow. Even the plastic looks clean. What do you guys think? Comment below. Come on. Where's your guys' comment? Tell me what you think. Uh, you know what would you guys like to see too uh, also on the uh, channel um, I can't do it without you guys so uh, yeah make uh, some suggestions below need to do that one next it's a little bit dusty all right well well we'll check it out tomorrow I'm just I'm just all geeked up how it looks. That's crazy. That is crazy clean. Dude, man, it is just smooth. I mean, it feels like glass. I mean, it does. The paint feels just so smooth. It feels like I just uh, did a complete detail spraying it. I mean, not spraying it, but uh, it feels like I just did put a sealant or a wax on it. It is that smooth. I mean, if you maintain your vehicles, too, you're going to apply this product right over it. You know, I mean, we don't have tar or we maintain it, so we don't have all that uh, contaminants on the vehicle to use this product. So as long as you maintain your vehicles, you should be able to go straight in this. If not, if you just want to use that, just clay bar it and uh, use that product. Oh, man it went on top of that poly wax pretty good i mean it's smooth and that's going to prolong that sealant that's on there that's easier than putting a wax on there once a month because you know canuba wax is only going to last 30 days you know maybe a little longer this stuff is a lot easier to use i mean boom 10 15 minutes you're done you know probably less than that after you wash it five minutes five ten minutes wipe it in wipe it off and it's basically looks like you waxed it and that's going to prolong your uh your sealant or wax that's on there look at that man that is clean <laughs> i'm all geeked up sorry about that guys okay it's been 24 hours since bead maker has been on the jeep too bad the sun uh, is not out right now the wife got off work a little bit ago so we'll take some footage man does it look clean she pulled up in the driveway it just looks clean I have a video coming up washing this rinse wash um, after this one and you'll see the, the Jeep pulling up I have a clip of the wife coming home in the Jeep as I was washing the uh, fusion with the uh, Wolfgang rinseless wash 
was doing a video for that and at the end of this video will be a clip of her pulling up and seeing how shiny it is so right here it's been uh 24 hours look how shiny it is i'm not gonna do a water test on it i have to get the holes out and this and that it's getting chilly out it's uh below it's probably like 37 right now but you can see how clean it is look how shiny it is still I get the windows look how clean those windows are she got some little dirt on there a little salt probably from this morning but we can see how clean it looks I did the plastic remember if you watched it she drilled through something but it looks clean I still need to do a pause to get the get it real shiny I mean my reflection is pretty good never polished it I pretty much went in the to uh, poly wax and then waxed it you know the thin coats the clear coats not that thick on here so want to protect it as much as it can don't need that mirror like finish on this as long as it looks clean and that saves the clear coat from not polishing all the time that's my opinion anyway yeah it works great Alright, what do you guys think? Let us know in the comments. So it's 24 hours. It looks, and it's smooth too, the paint. Man, it just feels like glass to me. I've seen videos with guys doing um, ceramic coatings. Even the spray ceramic coatings also. To me, this looks like this from the, those videos. How shiny it is. And it, it gives that glass looking appearance, in my opinion. It's nice on the plastic too. Look at that. The plastic looks clean. Look, this Jeep is looking better than brand new when we picked it up. That's what I think anyway. So, well, hopefully you guys like this video. And, um, and if your first time at the channel, uh, this channel is about that we did test detailing products. We're hobbyist detailers. Uh, we enjoy doing it. I really like, uh, I enjoy testing them products out and making videos and show you guys. Um, I enjoy it. And we also show car shows of the Detroit Auto Show and in and around the Detroit area we do car shows, local car shows and um, swap meets also, auto swap meets and we also do a little bit of uh, auto repair on our own vehicles and we do videos about our own vehicles, we got the Dodge Charger and the Vet and um, the Jeep and stuff like that we pretty much this channel we throw everything in there basically uh, pretty much what I show is my uh, passion of the automobile I like all makes and models so hopefully this uh, video is helpful to someone share it like it and uh, hit that subscribe button hit the bell to stay notified for other vehicles other vehicles and videos <laughs> and I appreciate it you got and then thanks for watching this whole video I really appreciate it um, everybody's time is precious thank you and you guys have a great one the boss she's home her Jeep's shining you want me a video How's the Jeep look? It looks beautiful. Thanks to Who you. cleaned it? You did. Dang, it's shining. Wow. Like brand new. It's been 24 hours. Holy cow, that stuff works. That bead maker, maker's on the Jeep. Yeah, it looks like brand new. Wow. It's yeah. slick, too. The bead maker works. That stuff is awesome. And you yell at me for buying detailing stuff.